Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject computer network is TCP IP reference model. So in the previous video I explained about OSI reference model. Now let us see what is this TCP IP reference model. TCP means transmission, T for transmission, C for control, P for protocol. Transmission control protocol and IP means internet protocol. Internet protocol. So this TCP IP reference model is a four layer architecture. So this is a four layer architecture. Whereas OSA reference model is OSA reference model is seven layer architecture. So this you have to be remember that. So TCP IP is a four layer architecture whereas OSI reference model is seven layer architecture. Now let us uh, see what is this transmission control protocol uh, and internet protocol. So why we are using this TCP IP reference model. So it is a network model used in current internet architecture. So we call it as it is a network model used in current internet architecture so nowadays whatever the internet architectures we are using so those uh, internet are referring this tcp ip reference model rather than osa reference model okay so actually it was developed by the department of defense project research agencies let me write that point it was developed by department of defense project research agency why they are developed this uh, tcp ip reference model so as a part of research project of uh, network interconnections uh, they are you they are uh, developed this TCP IP to connect the remote machines. So mainly to connect remote machines. To connect remote machines. So they developed this TCP IP reference model. What is the main idea behind this TCP IP reference model? So the main idea of this uh, TCP IP was to allow one application on one computer to send data packets or to talk to another application on running on different computer so this is one computer somewhere else and this is another computer somewhere else to transmit the data from one system to another system from one system to the another system uh, we are using this T tcp ip reference model okay now let us see what are the layers that are present in this tcp ip let me write that uh, point the layers that are present in layers. So if you take the OSA reference model, what are the layers that are present in OSA reference model? Total it is having the seven layers. One is application layer. Okay, and next is presentation layer, next session layer, and next transport layer. Next, network layer. Data link layer. And the final one is the physical layer. So, these are the total seven layers that are present in OSI reference model. So, this we already discussed. Now, next coming to the next layer that is the TCP IP model. So in TCP IP model, what are the 
layers that were present in TCP IP. So here you are having total seven layers, but here in TCP IP you are having only four layers. Application layer, transport layer, network layer and this detailing all. So this is application layer. Next transport layer. So in the place of network layer, we it we call it as an internetwork layer. Inter network layer. So in OSA reference model, we use the network layer. That name we use network. In TCP IP, we use the name internetwork. And the next layer is the data link and physical layer. Both are present in only one layer. Occupy the one layer. Okay. So here total seven layers are present in uh, TCP IP are having only four layers. The four layers are present in TCP IP and seven layers in OSI reference model. So whatever this application layer, the application layer in TCP IP is mainly used for data representation. It is used for data representation. and uh, dialog control and uh, application interface application interface it's acts as an application interface and uh, and next coming to the transport layer so what is the job of the transport layer so the transport layer is a process to process communication so just it is a process to process communication and uh, here the port address we used uh, for communicating from a system to system a process to process communication we use port address so we need port address to communicate so just like a transport means if you want to send a letter from one place to another place you need an address without address you can't send the letter in the same way for the transport layer also you need the port address if you know the port address you can transfer the data you can process the data from one system to another system now coming to the network layer. So what is the use of this network layer? The network layer is a, is a node to node communication. Transport is process to process and internetwork is node to node communication. So for node to node communication, internetwork needs IP address. Okay. Internetwork needs IP address. So whereas transport network transport layer needs port address, in but internetwork needs IP address. Next coming to the this uh, data link and physical layer. It is used for physical address, uses physical address, and this data link and physical layer uses flow control, it flow flow control, congestion control. And also error control. So everything will be done by this layer, data link and the physical layer. So this is just an overview of the TCP IP reference model. So in the next video, I'll explain the architecture of the TCP IP network model and what are the protocols that are involved, uh, that are used in these layers and the, what are the networks that are used in this layer. Thank you.